What do you get when you put 15 quail and 40 pounds of blueberries? This morning, I went and picked up quail. I was home by like 7.15 because my options were go do a two hour round trip to pick them up or I could meet the woman at work 15 minutes away from us at seven in the morning. So, I got Mac up. He didn't believe me that I already went to get them. I don't want it. Oh, do stick my hand in there to grab it. No, they don't peck you. Don't they? I don't know. I lifted it and I didn't get pecked. And there's 15? Yep. Five males, 10 females? Uh, she thinks four males and 11 females. But she wasn't quite sure on one of them. That's still a lot. Right? We just realized that Mary's cleaned it out in here and spread it lime, but we haven't put shavings down. So here, let's go in and we'll close it and we can look at them, and then we'll put shavings down. Well. Yeah, we're not gonna take them out, hopefully. Just pop it open. We're just gonna look at them. And, and Mrs. Groot. Oh, there's some trying to get in the... And Jackie Groot had quail. Mm -hmm. They're called Courtnix? I don't know how you pronounce that. Courtnix. Here, there's still more tape. What? Oh, no. Okay, just easy, because we don't want to necessarily let them all out right now. This box is very taped. Oh, you know what? They're already trying to get out this little hole. So maybe we don't open it up. Oh, and there's newspaper too. Okay, uh. let's go get shavings. Put the lid back on. After Mary has cleaned out all the old bedding, the purpose of the lime is it kills, it's a disinfectant, whatever. So just putting it down on the plywood and letting it sit overnight just helps start with a nice fresh coop. You try to open that up. Hey. You can use the whole thing? Mm, let's start with just part of it. Wow. Wanna come again? I wanna keep this door Whoa, closed. Oh, those are so Woo. Look at the size of that thing. Look at how beautiful they are. Look at that. They are amazing. Did you just hear that? It's like, <laughs> oh, look at the white ones. They're so beautiful. Oh, these are the coolest things ever. Look at this color. Oh, look at that one. You are beautiful. You're like butterscotch. Oh, so they're about. That one's got nice. scalped on the back of its head. Uh, it's from overbreeding. Same with this one. Those are probably females then. So they are about. Uh, yeah, no more of them look like that. Three this to six months old is how old they are. Three to six months? Yeah, so they were laying, but they may not be laying a bunch. Because they are. Because scared. of the time. Of, no, because of the time of year. Oh. So we're not sure if they'll be laying much this year. Wow, they might be that. next year's brood That stock. is so cool. Did you see that white one just tried to fly? I think he's fluffing up. Hey, see? He's breed he was just trying to. He's just breeding them. You think they might hatch their own chicks? Um, they probably won't, but what we're going to do is we're going to get special trays for our incubator, so if they are laying eggs, we can try hatching. They are so cool. Look at that one. He's just figuring it. Pepper. Found your boots over here. Looks like your box fort got rained on. Like 
What do you think of them, Freya? They're cute. You want to hold one? Okay. See, there's a white one. You gotta make sure you don't swish them. Or let them out. Can we have the door closed though? Okay, I'm gonna start milking. Come help me. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in, Clover. Milk time. Come on, ladies. How we're milking most of the time these days is that Mossy is tied in this corner here because um, she's just so tame that then the boys usually milk her right here in this stall and then Clover, I haven't tried tying her to milk yet. Well, I guess I should close you in. For now, she comes in here and I milk her. And you can't help but sing honky tonk, badonka donk when you see a full udder from behind like that. You can see, if you follow me on Instagram, you know she got had a tangle with barbed wire, but it's healed really well. Her one teat here is still, let's see, I gotta do it for It's just about there. Still a tiny bit. It's doing really good though. the males go, um, there's, I can't make the noise. I'm sure you'll learn to make it. <clears throat> Did you wash it, Mossy? Nope. Still playing, they're still looking at them. Holding. There too? Yes, we don't need them letting out the trail though. Oh, I told them to put this little black feeder in front of it, and I watched Freya do that. 
And I told Ham, in a bit, you absolutely have to go see if Rowan's awake. Oh yeah, she's letting down. I can't really hear you over here. She's letting down. It's locked up. Can you quail okay? Yeah. Or spray it over here. Can you go make sure they're locked so the quail don't get out? Can you go double check? What's in your mouth? So this morning I went and picked up those quail. My mom and grandma are visiting right now and uh, my grandma is staying at a resort cabin nearby she likes her own space and she's like, I'm old and I like my own space. I, She prefers to stay there when she visits. My mom has been staying with my sister Anna, but today she's coming here. My grandma's gonna go there for coffee and then bring um, mom here. And my sister, I thought I was gonna have to go to town today to pick up our bulk blueberry order, but my sister has to go to town. So she's gonna pick it up. So we have 40 pounds of blueberries, which isn't an obscene amount to deal with. I could easily throw it all in the freezer. I'll probably can some today though. Eat a pile. And we're gonna eat a pile of blueberries too, yes, Max says. Um, they're not the cheapest blueberries ever. They're $33 for 10 pounds Canadian, which is equivalent to about $25 for 10 pounds US, I think. And the thing is though, otherwise you got to like be s constantly scouring grocery store ads or going to grocery stores trying to find when they're on sale there or when they have bulk amounts there. And I just don't really go to town that much. And so the chances of me catching them or you know maybe they have them but then I go there and they're out of stock. and. I just decided that I would do a bulk order. I placed an order last week with someone who was doing a bulk pickup straight from a farm, probably 12 hours away from us, and bringing them to our valley. So I ordered 40 pounds. In the last week, we have had 50 pounds of strawberries, which we canned a bunch um, and froze a bunch. Mac took the tops off of most of those, which I really appreciated. We dried some. Um, and then the week before we had 25 pounds of strawberries. So we've had 75 pounds of strawberries, which were not cheap, but pretty much my whole grocery budget this month, month is towards bulk things for the freezer. Strawberries are the only fruit we can buy bulk grown local. So um, for a long time that was never in our budget to buy very many of them. This year we decided it was a priority to buy as much local fruit as we could. So we did and it's pretty exciting. I came inside to deal with milk and Mac was letting the cows out, feeding them the grain, and then he was gonna go find Jessa, who's in with beef cows, to see if she was showing any signs of being in heat because we're having a heck of a time getting her bread. We got like one more try um, before we're gonna put her in with a bowl. Anyhow, Freya comes downstairs. She's like, do you know where Hamish is? And I was like, I don't know, he's probably out with quail or something. She's like, I have been cleaning our guest room this whole time. I'm like, our guest room is a bomb. And my mom shows up in like an hour. I think I know what I'm doing next. But I'm interested to see how what Freya's been doing. How, you know, how she's been tidying in there. See what a five-year-old job cleaning a guest room looks like. Well, I'm not gonna call it done. There was some board game dumping that happened, but you know what, guys? <laughs> There's also a milking machine and beekeeping boxes, but you know, it's a lot better than it started. I think that it's not going to take me long to whip this into shape. So I'm going to have another cup of coffee first. It's 8.40. Rowan is still sleeping. She doesn't nap anymore, so then like, probably every couple days she has epic sleep-ins. 
Amos is still sleeping. He was up early and then went back to sleep and Marius went back to sleep with him. Marius is the night owl of our crew. He's the one who'll be working till midnight. I'm the one who'll be up early picking up quail at seven in the morning. gonna win any better home and gardens awards here I gotta get some fresh pillowcases I toss pills up there but you know what guys it's better than it was before this uh, game closet needs some help but there's also like a meat grinder and a sewing machine and a butcher wrap roller thing we live here it's probably what describes this room best while I was inside doing some things, oh, I just step on some? <laughs> they are thinning the apple tree. My mom isn't fruit tree and apple tree enthusiast. <laughs> and I mentioned, oh, I need to thin this apple tree because if we don't thin it, the apples just are all way too small on it. But it's a really delicious eating apple. If we thin it, they'll get a lot bigger. They'll still only be about that big. They go better. And the pigs are... Yeah, we're feeding them to the chickens. You feed them to the chickens? Do the chickens like them, Rowan? Can I just say that the pigs are going to like them a lot better, Matt, than the chickens? There won't be enough of them. Oh, well, I, I think the pigs would really like them. That'll be enough, sweeter. Yeah. It'd be a nice treat for them. They love the apples when we bring them apples. I could probably miss so, the rain. The method to the madness is that you're basically just thinning um, out to their, so they're not crowded. So you look at a blossom cluster and where you had all the blossoms, you want to reduce it down to only one apple in that blossom cluster. So, so like can, this one here, there's one apple that didn't really do much, so it's just automatically a get rid of one. Yeah. And then there's two left. Yep. So this pick is the, the not as one. yeah. This is the ugly one. So save that one. Yep. So there's your down to one. And then the piggy wiggies will enjoy them. <laughs> and Rowan has to take a bite of everyone first. <laughs> Our cherries are getting there. Not quite yet, but they're close. This is I don't even remember what type of tree this is, but. I planted it last year. I think it's a plum. There's only one little plum that doesn't look like it's going to do anything. Only there's some little ones, so yeah. I think this tree's not going to do anything this year. This sour cherry tree is behind the other one, but it's also loaded with green ones. And then this is an earlier, bigger apple tree. It doesn't look as full. It doesn't look like it needs to be thinned. And then over here, the last apple tree that gives us apples. I don't, maybe it needs a bit of thinning. Not much. This is the most it's ever given us. I think my garlic is basically ready to be pulled. But I don't know if it's, it's not impressive this year. Pretty small. Here's hoping there's some bigger heads in other places and something trampled it too, which doesn't help. You have to learn! Well, you try and then I can pull you in. Freya, I have you tied. You can't go very far. You could get out and walk right now. It's so shallow. Well, why don't you try paddling? I bet you once you try, you'll find it's really fun. You're coming into shore, see? You're coming into shore. You're coming. Her's coming into shore right now. Yeah. See? I'm watching you. If, if, if you're.
found two and Ham found one. I found mine first. <laughs> They're quail eggs. I can't see them. They're dad's quail eggs. Quail eggs. Quail eggs. Ava, 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 Ham? Ava hasn't seen the quail yet. Quail so sure. And they laid eggs. Quail eggs. Yeah, I checked them two or three times today. <laughs> Oh, these are not for Rowan. Wow, those are cool looking. Yeah, they're like so camouflaged. They like look like they're painted. See? Jack, why don't you help Minnie make a ball? We've only got one here. Minnie, I'll make you a ball. You can make it for me. Cool. <laughs> We'll get a big piece. He probably will take four ounces. Oh, okay. He he drinks four to six. Are you going to have that for dessert? Yeah. Like a hundred feet from each other. The other one is way bigger tree though. It's like four times the size. Of Um, a woman, Anna knows, arranged, picked up a huge big bulk yeah. order. Can I put them on, Mom? Sweet. No, they're going to be on just on the bowl. Tell her to sign up. Hi. Let me show yours, Ron. Hey. Is it so good? 